Now, we all know that young people have great imagination, but what happens if we push our ideas as far as they can go? Lots of children have come up with pretty cool inventions over the years to make their lives easier or more fun. Let's take a look. Did you know that the trampoline was invented by a 16-year-old? An 11-year-old created the ice lolly. Even the braille system, which uses raised dots like these to help the blind read, was invented by Louis Braille when he was just 12. We've been out to meet the next generation of young creators in Lagos to learn all about their inventions. We made the smart toilet occupancy indicator. Mostly in toilets in Nigeria, we don't actually have color code, something like that. This ultrasonic sensor right here, it detects um, distance the distance between the toilet and the person sitting on the toilet seat. This green LED comes on to show that it's vacant. But when someone's sitting on the toilet seat, the red LED goes on. And I'm thinking of adding a shocking device. Maybe when the person goes um, and wants to open the door, the buzzer could go on and maybe it could shock the person a little so the person <laughs> doesn't go in again. <laughs> this is a robotic porter. And how it works is that you put your luggage on it and then as long as you have your phone with you, it tracks your phone and follows you. It tries to match your speed and moves as fast as you move so you don't have to wait for it, it just keeps following you. It's useful because in airports you don't have to pay someone to carry your bag or get the stress of your backache. And if your luggage was lost, you can use your phone to pinpoint the exact location of it. It's a voice control juice dispenser, Fanta. It works with a voice recognition chip, which is embedded in, in this enclosure. Cool. And it's only assigned to specific voices which you want it to be assigned to, like only the parents in the house. It can also be modified to be used in chemistry labs and schools, which have acids and corrosive substances. It's mostly a floor cleaner. But we also thought of how to make cleaning easier and more fun. As you can see, this fossil from a syringe. For the, for the syringe. We have to use this because it's cheaper. We use a sponge. We use a hot glue to melt to melt it together. Then we use a fan. So as it's cleaning, it's going to dry that area up. We just wanted to make something that would be very innovative, especially for parents who have uh, maybe have disabilities. This can be used by pregnant women who don't want to use a mop to start scrubbing the floors. There's no way you cannot have fun with this. <laughs> 